Hi Siri, what's the elevation of Woodland Park, Colorado? The elevation of Woodland Park, Colorado is about 8,481 feet. That's high. <laughs> So I am at my first altitude camp of the year. I came up to Woodland Park, Colorado uh, a couple days ago, two, three days ago, and that's at 8,500 feet, so higher than I've ever been. But today I came down and ran a little bit lower. Oh yes, that's beautiful, Stanley. <laughs> um, I ran in Colorado Springs, so about 6,000 feet. I really enjoy training camps. I don't like being away from home, but when you're in a training camp, there's no distractions. You come in and you are just focused for over a month of just work. Um, get your work done. Everything is focused around um, running, you know, getting fit, taking care of your body. There's no distractions, um, eating well, just really doing everything possible so that you can come out of it fit and ready to race. So for my roughly 30 days that I'm up at altitude at camp, I'm looking to gain fitness. Um, the first two weeks are just really mellow, no workouts, just to adjust to altitude because you can really put yourself in a hole if you go too hard when you first get to altitude. So the first two weeks were just kind of getting base mileage for me. I want to just be able to have some consistent training, um, you know, being average, I guess, every day, showing up, being able to just get get that work in every single day and um, hopefully get a little fitter as well. Um, I've had a few people say, you know, why, don't, why aren't you doing track or you'd be better at the track distance, but for me, I, I really want to do the marathon. It's something, you know, I did that New York City Marathon and there's fans lining the course. It's an iconic event. It's a very Olympic iconic event as well. So for me, it's, um, that's still the focus. Um, you know, with that being said, I haven't been able to do the miles that I need to, to be able to perform in a marathon. I know it's so frustrating, Stanley. I get mad too. Um, <laughs> um, so I haven't been able to do those high miles just because my body's not used to it. So we're taking it one step at a time and going to do probably some shorter races um, until I'm able to get those miles up. So this morning I um, got up and did a 10 mile, 80 minute run in Colorado Springs and then um, I'm now going to go to the gym, do some gym work, then I have some treatment. I'm going to go back up to Woodland Park, uh, get a little nap in, and then if Stanley lets me, um, and then I will do a swim. And this week is just, I'll probably try to hit around 80 miles running, I'll do a, a few swims and uh, I brought my mountain bike, so I might uh, do some mountain biking as well just to supplement the training. Um, you know, coming to altitude, there's a few other benefits. I haven't really done much altitude training before. I, um, you know, did about a month maybe every year when I was doing triathlon of altitude training in Falls Creek in Australia, but it wasn't this high and it was just at the beginning of the year. I never did a race out of it, so I'll be interested to see how I come out of altitude. The first day up here um, in Woodland Park, I felt horrible. It felt like I had flown to Australia and back. It just, I felt like I was jet lagged, felt horrible. Um, you know, it's super hard to sleep those first few nights at altitude as your body adapts. And um, there's a lot of challenges when you're up at altitude. So it's really important to, that much more important to take care of yourself. Your metabolism also really revs up. So you have to make sure you're getting enough fuel in. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be up at altitude and, and see if it has any positive effects.